What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dev, and today I'm back with a very anticipated video. How much I paid for my 2001 GSXR 1000. All right, guys, as we come into the garage, the 250, which is my baby's bike, we got my neighbor's bike, we got the street glide, and then the Jixxer has been over here getting neglected. So I have not rode this bike in about three weeks and I'm actually gonna include some clips at the end of this video of a couple weeks ago when I rode this bike and we rode with a big group of guys and we had a good time. And of course I didn't get any on riding footage because you guys know I don't have a GoPro and I don't want this channel to be really a motor vlogging channel. And I don't want you guys to judge me because sometimes things get a little crazy out here on the bikes, but um, I will show some footage that I got from that day. All right guys, we just got up here. I'm about to give you a little tour of the bikes. Action. Hey, somebody got their light on on this people. That's me. That's what I thought I heard. You need to keep it running so it don't slow down anymore. Hey, I lose them. I just got here. He did lose them. I'm down As we have been on these motorcycles all freaking day guys as you can see it is about 20 25 motorcycles behind me i'm about to give you guys a little tour bikes for days all right, guys, we're about to set off for this ride. Here we go. As I said, this bike has been sort of getting neglected. I really haven't rode it that much, um, but I am about to take it from underneath the cover and uh, we're gonna do a cold startup and then we are gonna discuss how much I paid for my Jixxer 1000. Now, I really wanna make this video because a lot of people think that in order to get into motorcycle riding, you have to have a whole bunch of money saved up and you gotta do this and you gotta do that. And honestly, it's not true, guys. You can go find a very nice older sport bike and not really have a whole lot of money tied up into the motorcycle and still have a ton of fun. So let's get this thing uncovered um, and let's, let's get this show on the road. I haven't seen this bike in a while. Like I said, I have not rode this bike in like three weeks. Um, it's funny guys, I ride the street glide a lot. And now that my girlfriend is officially riding with me, yes, Dominica is riding a motorcycle very well out on the road. Um, I really have not, rode the jigs so much just because my buddies haven't really been riding and you know if i'm not going that fast which the 250 we know is not that fast i can ride the glide and enjoy myself more than riding this and want to go fast but can't go fast so this is a cold startup on a 2001 gsxr 1000 This is my 2001 GSXR 1000. Um, to give you guys a little back history on this bike, I purchased this bike when I was 18 years old. Now, I know what you guys are thinking 18 years old with the Jixxer 1000. Are you crazy? What was your parents thinking? They crazy too. Um, I know, guys, it was crazy. And you guys saw my 07 Ninja 250. That is the bike that I actually started on. So I started on my 07 Ninja 250 when I was 16 years old. I believe that was 2014. And then I bought this bike, this 01 GSXR 1000 in 2016, um, two years later after I got the 250. I paid, da -da 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 I paid $3,500 for my 2001 GSXR 1000. Now guys, I know what you're thinking, $3,500, wow. 
you paid thirty five hundred dollars for a Jixxer one thousand. Did it have the Brock on there? Did it did it run? Da, da, da. Let's answer some questions. So when I purchased this motorcycle, I bought it from its original owner. So the original owner was a good buddy of my dad's and the original owner bought it new back in 2001. The original owner, I don't know what he paid for, but I'm guessing probably nine, ten thousand dollars $10,000. When I purchased the motorcycle back in 2016, sadly, the bike was not running. So with that being said, my dad and I had to kind of figure it out, you know, troubleshoot some things. We ended up changing the air filter, draining out all the old gas. The old gas was orange in the motorcycle. And after we did everything, um, we were able to get the bike started up and uh, got it running. And I rode it like that for the full year. It had a slip on M4 exhaust on it. And I rode it like that for a full year. 2017 is when I bit the bullet. And I'm happy I did. But at the time, guys, it was a big, big, big purchase because, I mean, guys, you already know thousands of dollars is thousands of dollars and when i put my full system brock's performance exhaust on it um that kind of hit me kind of hard but the brock's exhaust cost me right around fifteen hundred dollars to get put on and it came with the power commander from brock as well so it was already tuned everything was good to go and you know it was kind of it was what it was and honestly if i had it to do all over again i would do the same thing to this motorcycle i know what you're thinking it's a 2001 why are you putting all this money into it but guys when i purchased this motorcycle it only had 7,000 miles on it. So it was very close to being a brand new motorcycle. And with that being said, you know, I felt like it was worth it. You know, you can do with your money what you wish to do, just like I'm gonna do with mine, what I wish to do with it. So that is how much I paid for my 2001 Jixxer 1000. A lot of people ask me if I would ever sell this motorcycle. Yes, it is a classic. Yes, you don't hardly ever see them. But guys, I try not to get caught up with materialistic things because guys, Everything is here one day and it can be gone the next. So I love my bike, I enjoy my bike, I ride the heck out of my bike. But you know, if I got an awesome opportunity on a newer Jixxer and um, you know, I had the money sitting around ready to pull the trigger, I probably would sell this and get a new one because I don't need two Jixxer 1000s to have in a garage. I'm not one of those guys that, you know, hey, I, I have two Jixxer 1000s. Like, who cares, bro? Nobody cares. You can only ride one at a time. So I only really need one sport bike. Consider getting a Busa for a while. And uh, I decided, no, nah, I don't even want a Busa. If I get anything, it'll probably just be a newer Jixxer 1000 or 2017 and up. One day, like I said, not coming to the channel anytime soon. Maybe in the next few years, maybe never. I might just keep this forever. Who knows? But one day it might be for sale. And of course, I'll let you guys know if it ever goes up for sale. But I just wanted to make this short little video because a lot of people think that it costs so much money to get out on a sport bike. And it really doesn't. A lot of people fall victim to the trap of thinking that they got to go out and get a very expensive motorcycle, a very um, expensive bike, but you really don't have to do that, guys. You can go out and get a used motorcycle, an older motorcycle that's in excellent condition and not pay an arm and a leg for it. So I wanted to make this quick video. I want to thank you guys for checking out my channel. Follow me on Instagram at TheRealDevinClark and uh, subscribe if you have not already. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.